2015 Forest River Georgetown motorhome. It's using these uh, hatches to run the utilities inside the motorhome. Uh, this one just happens to be made by Viking Marine. But you see these a lot on boats. And they simply unscrew and give you a nice big place to run your power cords, water hoses and such. The problem is, once you run the hose through there, you can't put the lid back on and the hose only takes up a small portion of the entire opening. So mice, rodents, bugs, whatever, can simply walk up the power cord or the water hose and be in your rig. So what I ended up doing was using some CAD software and a 3D printer is I made up my own version. This is a direct replacement. The holes line up. So the idea is this is what will go around the power cord. So it simply snaps together because it has these rare earth magnets embedded into the plastic on both housings. And that'll grip the power cord tightly. And since this has magnets on the bottom, it'll lock onto the flange. So from underneath the coach, that's all you see now instead of that. When not in use, I made up a cover also, same magnets, and it simply locks in place on that one. Now, since the 15 amp power cord is a larger diameter than the water hose, I made a slightly modified file for that one, and it's going to be the same thing. I'll print another flange, another cover plate, and everything will get the magnets installed. So now that you've seen how it works, let's go install it on my motorhome. see how much space is left for some critter to go climbing up. First thing I have to do is pull the power cord out. And now it's out of the way. Let's see if we can get this flange out of here. Worried about some critter pushing up on it, getting in. Okay. Now to use it as intended. Let's see if my measurements were right. There we go. It's a good fit. And to store the lid, I'm just going to stick it on the side of my battery charger. Make sure you don't cover up any of the vents. What the heck is that? That's what you don't want to find in here. So I want to get this line disconnected and get that fitting swapped out.
Okay, let's try the blanket plate. Looks like that's going to work just fine. It's a good tight fit on the hose. If you have a 3D printer or know somebody that has one, there will be a link in the description where you can download these files and print them for free. Otherwise, there are services uh, that will print this for a moderate fee. I'll provide links in the uh, description for those also. Hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching.